Hello everyone, welcome back to Tabless Cooking with Tim. I'm here with my munchy mentor, Becca Murphy. Um, she's no longer my assistant, because um, she got herself a big girl job, but she can still teach me how to cook. So today we are going to make roasted Brussels sprouts, squash, and peppers. That's, there's no fancy name for it, just roasted mixed veggies, we'll go with that. Sure. So, uh, I have no idea what I'm doing, which is why Becca is here to teach me how to do this. Right. So we are cheating a little bit. We got the butternut squash already cubed. You can choose whatever squash you like. I just happen to like that one. Uh, we're using red peppers. We're going to use two. And then we bought a big bag of Brussels sprouts. These are just going to get rinsed real quick, and then we're going to cut them in half. If you want to be lazy, you can get the already halved ones. That's what I'll do in the future, because a man cook. Yes. And ain't, no, ain't nobody got time for that. All right, so we'll, we'll rinse these and then we'll start chopping up these and the peppers. Okay. Well, this is my kind of veggie cooking because literally chop it up, put it on the pan, put some spices or something with it. I don't know what we're going to do. Salt, pepper, and oregano. That's what we're going to do. And then throw it in the oven. Uh, we're preheating it to 400 degrees. So do that first, because you don't want to have to wait for that. And I'm currently struggling to get into... I don't really... There yep. we go. There we go. Got it. Just dump, dump, dump it in. Spread it around. And okay. then... Your first layer. That's layer number one. Becca's already chopped the tops off of the, the peppers. I don't know how she did it the way she did it. That's not how I do it. <laughs> but I accept that her skills are better than mine. Uh, is there a special way you want me to cut this? Just ch chop it into chunks? Um, yeah, we're just going to do large chunks. Okay. Um, basically, you can quarter it. I do like cutting those little inside things off. Um, Does anybody else eat those white stringy things on the inside I of peppers? I don't know. Personally, I think you're insane if you do, but if you do, that's cool, man. Let me know, and so I know that you're crazy, and I'll stay away from you. They'll probably be full of vitamins, but I was just going to do chunks like this, because we're going to be baking it for so oh, long. Oh, okay. So um, big, big chunks. Yeah, so, big, yeah. Big, big in chunks. Big chunks. Not like little tiny things. So no, totally not, not what I just started to do. It's okay. This is your first time. So, um... We're never usually good our first time. Uh, um, but we try hard. So like that, I mean I have small hands, but like that size, I'm probably just going to cut that in half once. Oh, this is even easier. Oh, this is yeah, so it, easy. it's, this is man cooking at its best, folks. Um, man cooking veggies. Oh, so, I love this. Yeah, I figured you'd like this recipe because it's super easy. And um, as a bonus, if you're interested, we can post it. It, you can make this really, really bitchin' uh, avocado dressing that you can put over this. It's basically guacamole. Um, Sounds good, and but, if Becca makes it for me, I'll eat it. Exactly. So we did pick up avocados today, so we can make that happen. Yes! So, like, look at that. They're already all cut. All done already. Ta-da! Okay, layer number two. Layer number two going in the pan. pan. I'm still chopping. Now for my least favorite part, because it's tedious. Chopping Brussels sprouts. The nice thing is that the bottoms were already chopped off of these. You so chop the bottoms off of them? I do sometimes. Yeah, Tim doesn't do that. Man, because that takes more time. It takes more time. Clearly it has not affect, affected me much. They're fine. So we'll cut these up. So we'll, yeah, this is gonna take a while. We don't, you don't want to watch this the whole time. I mean, maybe if there was like water dripping down. Uh, anyway, moving on. So we've got everything cut. It's in the pan, spread out. Just, we just kind of tossed it and layered it on, whatever. Now I'm waiting for Becca to show me what to do. We're gonna put the spices on, a little bit of E V O O. So I've got just some black pepper, some salt, and oregano. And you've got the olive oil already. So we'll 
we'll do sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle with your oil. Sprinkle the oil on. With your man rub it oil. In. No, not yet. Oh. Not yet. We're getting there, though. Don't get ahead of yourself. I'm just wanting to rub it in. That's the best part. Okay. Okay, so teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of salt. What kind of salt is this? This is Kalahari Desert Salt. You can use pink Himalayan salt, sea salt, kosher salt. You pick your salts, whatever works for you. Salt. Salt. It's been assaulted. <gasps> but um, shh. Totally dad joking it today. Oh my god. Uh, black pepper. You could do fresh ground. This is already. If you're using black pepper, done. try not to sneeze it on there because then. Boogers don't add flavor no. to the. No. Oh, that's a lot in one spot. That's, that's okay because you're gonna, gonna mix be a it up. Spicy spot. Nope, don't worry because we're gonna mix it up. Okay. And then we do two teaspoons of oregano. Two. One. I like how she's handing it to me. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Well, I want you to get the feeling in your hands of non-man cooking. I've been feeling it in my hands for a while. We should probably put a disclaimer on this episode. Yeah, yeah. And just so you're aware, this is an unfiltered show. We also don't wear makeup. Yes, that's that is true. That is Becca's natural beauty. Thank you. Uh, so now comes your fun part. It's when you get really down and dirty. You get to get your hands all in there and gently massage the oil and spices into the vegetables. Ladies, in case you're wondering what it's going to be like. Try not to drop the vegetables on the so floor. So excited it's jumping off the pan. Now granted, we're doing this, I did this in part for your sake, so that we didn't have extra dishes to clean later. If you wanted to cut all of this stuff up and put it in a large bowl first and mix it before you put it on the baking sheet, you could do that. This is to humor Tim and his man cooking. I appreciate that. So yeah, we're keeping it simple. And it's clearly working. Simple is what we like. So, so things that is are it. coated. This is going on the bottom rack for 40 minutes at 400 degrees. But now we both have dirty hands. Wow. <laughs> All right, so it's been 40 minutes. Our veggies are done cooking. Mm. They smell really good. No, no, it tastes really good too. No. That is it. <laughs> Four minutes, simple veggies done. Mm -hmm. mm. And they're tasty. I'll, I'll eat these all week long now that I know how to make them. I'll eat them on a regular basis. So that's all. We will post the recipe and uh, hope you guys enjoy. Okay. See you next time.